kid and you're asking like, what do we do about? Is you sign a contract with someone. So real quick, before you did that, did you... More than 30 years. I got my real estate license in the... Um, and your your origin story. Is that he uh, he made an age joke the last time we were... Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna use that KUKA. You know, I, I'm a little more strict with what I'm, I'm looking at. Uh, Khalif, what do you uh, think networking is, inbound or outbound? Um, it definitely goes both ways. Um, okay. I, I think it's, uh, you know, outbound in the sense that you have to get yourself um, into uh, situations, um, opportunities to network with people. Yep. But on the flip side, you know, uh, you got to make yourself as available as, you know, your schedule allows for people that uh, are quote unquote inbound that are reaching out via text or email dm mm -hmm. however um to make sure you're again initiating um yes and, and responding to those those uh those inquiries most definitely and you know out on market i would call it outbound because you're outbounding to on market uh they're not searching you yes they have a little bit of motivation because they're out there but you have to actively go out there. The problem with OnMark is now you're fighting against actual homeowners or other investors that are out there. So, um, you know, OnMark is a harder strategy just to let you know. Um, there are people out there that like to say that OnMark is very easy. And, oh yeah, if the numbers work, they work. In some markets, I'm like for instance, my market here in Metro Detroit, even if it's on market for a certain price and you're trying to sell it above that price, you're not, you're more than likely not going to sell that deal unless it's the numbers work way too much. Okay. Way too much. So, which I, I don't think I've even seen a deal like that. So agent outreach is kind of the same thing, but the difference is with agent outreach is your the reason for agent outreach is you're going to uh, go after the properties before they come on the market okay there get on their off market list get those properties before they even hit okay um so that that's kind of where i would reach that um inexpensive ways uh to market would be facebook marketplace craigslist door knocking now i haven't done door knocking but i've heard of people doing it okay uh driving for dollars okay and networking everybody thinks that driving for dollars you need an app you need um you need all this stuff the, the this extra technology in order to do it you got pen you got paper write down the address okay drive down write down that address and True people search is a free way to skip trace. It may not be the best of data, but if you're looking for free ways, that's one way. Um, or you can pay the 15, 12 to 15 cents per lead and actually get it skip traced. So, uh, and then also networking. Networking is free. Okay. I go to my local uh, real estate meetups in the area and it's free to go to them. I may have to get a drink at the bar or whatever, um, you know, but that's really about it. It's free to enter into a, a real estate meetup on most of them anyways. Go in there, network. Most importantly, listen to what buyers are saying. Listen to what they're, what they're talking about, okay? Um, how do you, what do you do with the lead when you get it? How do you talk to a seller, all right? Talking with a seller, it's kind of, it, it's an art, all right? That's why some buyers don't do it and they deal, they want to deal with wholesalers, truthfully, because in, in in truth, some people are assholes. I hate to say it, and hopefully uh, uh, YouTube doesn't uh, skip that, but, you know, they're, what do you think, Khalif? You think some sellers are assholes? Um, you run into some... Um 
that are, are, are difficult, but I want to challenge you when you're following to a, a perspective that somebody gave me that kind of helped me. Oh, 100%. Is, let's do it. Um, you know, especially cold calling, right? Yep. You're calling this person out of the blue, um, asking them from their perspective some personal information and they have no clue who you are. Mm-hmm. Um, so they, I, I, I was coached to put myself on their side of things um, to make light of that and kind of bring down the, 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 the chance of bringing the asshole out of them by kind of yep. diffusing that at first, right? It's, hey, I know you have absolutely no idea who I am uh, mm-hmm. and apologize for that out of the blue um, and let them know what you're trying to do and what you're trying to accomplish. Um, you know, and, and tell them what works for me is like, hey, I noticed you own, you know, one, two, three Sesame Street. Um, what plans did you have for the place? So that right. just kind of disarms them. Um, and, and that's just a, a free tip just to let the air out of the room. Yep. Um, because you might run into somebody that may be interested in selling, but they may want top dollar and, and kind of trying to railroad you off the phone by asking an astronomical amount, right? But, uh, Most definitely. you know, just ask me, hey, what was your plans for the place? You know, that opens up for there to be a two way dialogue versus you uh, kind of cold calling and scripting them. Yep. So and that's the thing, like and actually what I what I kind of meant by their asshole. I'm not talking about the sellers or assholes. I'm talking about these buyers. The reason why they don't market like we do and the reason why they don't do what we do is because our buyers are assholes sometimes because all they want to do is do the work yep they want to get the lead and do the work and i'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that they don't want to concentrate on marketing and then now all the buyers are doing is seeing our solutions that's it they don't see all the work that we put into it and if anybody out there sits there and says that wholesalers don't work i challenge them on that 100 percent I really challenge them. So I want to see in the chat, anybody out there that is watching right now, tell me what way you market or what way you want to market. Whether it be cold calling, direct mail, bandit sides, whether it be networking, anything like that, put in the chat what way you prefer to market. I want to hear that. I want to hear how many people out there. I, I want I want feedback, everybody. I want feedback. So keep putting in, go ahead and put in the chat and we'll go from there. Um, This is kind of a very important thing for wholesalers is how to talk to sellers. Talking with sellers is not about the numbers. It's not about, you know, um, you know, hey, do you want to sell? Okay, great. I'll give you this. You know, you have to build rapport. You have to find out what their pain is okay find out the reason they're they said yes that yes i'm interested in selling okay all right and so we got we got one person amber tintany uh from facebook said uh agent outreach text blasting and networking 100 percent. so finding out their pain and figuring out what they're and i think this is the most important quality is do not lie sellers will pick up on if you're lying okay be authentic with them 100 percent. if you're authentic that comes through they will trust you be honest uh, and be honest with them whether you can help them or not okay try to figure out where and i'm going to steal this from pace morby he has a huge story. Look up his story on, on, on this, but it's called Find the Bunnies. Okay. I'm not going to tell his story. Look up on, on YouTube, Pace Morby, Find the Bunnies, his story on that. But it's, it's a hilarious story. Basically, find what their pain is. Try to see how you can help them. Okay. And I even talk to sellers and I tell them, hey, Even if you don't go with my offer, please let me know if there's any other way I can help you. 
Um, and that goes a long way as well. I'm not sitting here saying use that as a tactic and expect a huge return from people on that. What I'm saying is, is just be genuine with people and offer to help. That's all. Okay. Be creative and see if they would be interested in any type of creative solutions as well. Okay. Be with, uh, everything with a huge tick right now, there's a huge thing with creative financing and, and um, doing land contracts, whatever they may be. See if there's a creative way to make the deal happen. Okay. Um, so I, the next one would be, you know, get the price out of them. How can you get the price out of them? You, you talk with them about the benefits of going with your offer versus an on market. Hey, Mr. Seller, I'm out here or, or the benefits of going for us is, Hey, uh, you know, we pay all the closing costs. Uh, the only, the, the number that I give you, there's only three things that come out of that number. Okay. One is any back taxes or up to the closing date of taxes coming out of that number Two any blight tickets from the city. Those are tickets and people don't usually know what blight tickets are, but so I explain it and I say, those are tickets like, you know, too long of a grass or anything like that from the city. Um, and then any water bill. Okay. Anything, anything, those three things, those are the only three things that's going to be taken out of yours. We'll pay the, any, any title fees, clo closing fees or anything like that. Benefit, benefit, benefit. Okay, those are benefits for you. Now, if they're contemplating going on market, just say, hey, that's not a problem. You might even be able to get more on market. It's going to take longer. Okay, it might take 45 to, to 60 days on market. Uh, also, it, uh, you're going to have to pay a portion of closing costs. Okay, on average, it takes it's about anywhere from 9 to 11 percent. Okay. In total with commissions and closing costs to sell your house. Okay. Every area is different. Everything's different. So, you know, I give them a little bit of a range and that's the truth. I'm not spewing any lies. This is all true. Okay. Now, after that, I come to them. You also will have people going through your house constantly, you know, things like that you know, going through me, you don't necessarily have to do that. We just need to get a contractor in there a couple times just to get our numbers going good, you know, things like that. And we really take it as is. You don't have to do anything to the property. Benefit, benefit, benefit. Okay. So listen to uh, what they're talking about. Listen to what their pain is. Okay. And then reaffirm that okay well yeah you know what you know i i i really need to sell i want to sell the house because i want to move down to florida closer to family okay great we can get this done for you and we can get you know get you down closer to your family you're repeating what they said so that they understand what your uh that you're actually listening to them okay setting their expectations up for possibly the lower offer by by viewing a couple comps in the neighborhood okay by by listing hey you know your 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 neighbor down the street you know they just sold their house it it looks almost identical to yours and it sold for x amount of dollars and that was completely redone how much do you think you you uh you would need to get it you know to get the house where that needs to be you're getting them to talk about how much the renovation cost is and you're getting them to talk about what you need okay you have any uh, ideas on that khalif no um that that was good um especially when you have somebody that's kind of not in the the same stratosphere as you as far as asking price mm -hmm. is you know you got to put on your education hat um 100 and walk them down the path to how you got to your number just again to be authentic with them um, and being yep. genuine is that hey you know I'm in this to help you um, 
and in that I, I am looking to um, make profit for myself um, and here are the bare bones numbers and how I got to where I got so again you're not just um, yeah being that the hammer right and just throwing a number at them and, and call me if that works Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room 